I always start out by putting the heads of the, of the people in first because the, the, the head, you know, when people say like when people walk, if I'm walking this way, my head's going to tilt a little bit forwards. Yeah. Okay. But if I'm standing upright, normally I'm not going to be standing like that. Right. I'm going to be up standing this way. So the tilt of the head kind of um, takes which direction the person's moving in. Okay. So if I want to draw a person that's just standing upright, I'll put in the head kind of like this, which is just a kind of like a rectangle shape or an oval like shape like this. Okay. Um, in terms of the body shape and stuff, everyone's got different kind of different sort of body shapes. Um, I tend to just scribble in a little bit, something like this. Okay. Kind of more like a rectangular like shape. Some people have more of like a triangular shape like this. Um, some people have more of like, uh, like a boxy sort of shape, depending, uh, depending on the build. So I, I, I try to change up the shapes of the bodies and things like that of all the people in, in a scene because it just makes it look more interesting. Otherwise, they're all just going to look like the same people. Okay, so you've got the head, which is kind of this oval slash rectangle shape. The body, which is, again, approximating a bit of like a rectangular shape. Uh, the top of the rectangle is a little bit more um, narrower. Okay, and then the, the legs, I just put in like a couple of triangles like this. Okay, a couple of triangles. And if you actually like calculate, it's like, I think it's eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like seven and a half to eight times into the body the head goes. Generally speaking, okay. Um, but when you, well, I guess this the main thing of this activity is just to try to, you know, when you look at a person or a figure, try to see shapes. That's a skill that you have to kind of learn over time. Because normally when we look at objects or if we go out, you know, see, oh, that's a, that's a cupboard or something like that. That's a table. But if you actually look at that, it's kind of, I mean, that's like a rectangular prism or whatever. Or, or a person's head, it's kind of like a, the shape of an egg. Okay. <laughs> or so rectangle egg, whatever. Okay. Um, so it, it's just trying to find shapes in things and if you draw the shapes then it ends up looking like funny enough what you're trying to what you're trying to paint okay or draw so um and i'm saying kind of the heads of the figures as well where the heads are placed are really important so say for example let's get this person the heads kind of shift a little bit to the left okay and then the body i can just position the body kind of going a bit slanted to the to the right hand side leg here and then one of the legs back here so it looks like this person's starting to walk through a scene okay and just walk through um cool little exercise i always like doing is i just pick up you know just a basic color pop in a few blobs on the page just for some heads you know i can just drop in a few blobs and then i'll just paint in some bodies on top of those blobs um like this if you can see, and um, have a little just practice of putting in people walking in different directions, that kind of thing. So you don't even need to really draw. Okay. I always make the head uh, a little bit more smaller than the body. If you make the head too big, um, it can sometimes look like children because kids, and proportion-wise, children have a lot larger heads than the uh, than their bodies. It's just it's just how that it's just how it is. So sometimes you can have a person standing by the on the side like this, and the legs just join up. That could be someone just standing looking looking at their phone. Um reading the paper or something like that. Okay. And um, this little exercise is something that I do like constantly. <laughs> I have a sketchbook and I just do thousands of these in different poses. And over time you just get more confident you can join their bodies together and make like a crowd of people as well. Okay. 
Okay, so kind of just put this the, the slants of the heads in different directions. Yeah. Okay.